Hello friends, welcome back to Cosmopolitan Cornbread. My name is Constance and this is the Shabbat or Saturday scripture reading video. Uh, as you can see, I am, not in I am not in Arkansas right now. I'm actually in Alabama. And the day that this video goes up, I will be at the Petals from the Past event in Jemison, Alabama. If you are anywhere in the vicinity, I would love for you to come and say hello. Uh, I will be there along with my friends Julie from Roan Co. Farm, uh, Anna from Fermented Homestead, and tons of other YouTubers from Alabama and all over the place. So uh, I will be there the day this video goes up. But as is my normal routine, I am doing the scripture reading for today. You can get the entire scripture reading schedule for the week over at my website, cosmopolitancornbread.com. And if you have anything in particular you would like me to pray about, please leave that in the comments down below or you can privately message me uh, if it's something more of a personal nature or you're not comfortable just sharing it publicly. So with that, I am going to get to my scripture reading. Uh, I actually packed my wrong glasses today. Uh, I, have, I have two different kinds of glasses and I have two sets of each. And I usually keep one of each together. I have two pairs in my bathroom and two pairs in my bedroom. And somehow my both of my pairs of driving glasses ended up in my suitcase instead of one pair of my driving and one pair of my reading. That's what I get for not checking very quickly. So I'm gonna have to pull off my glasses and hold my Bible closed to do the reading. Um, but we'll we'll get through this. All right, so to begin, we are going to be reading in the book of Deuteronomy, starting in chapter 31 with verse 20, and we're going to read through verse 30. All right, starting in verse 20. For when I have brought them into the land, I swore to their ancestors, flowing with milk and honey, and they have eaten their fill, grown fat, and turned to other gods, serving them and despising me, and broken my covenant. Then, after many calamities and troubles have come upon them, this song will testify before them as a witness, because their descendants will still be reciting it and will not have forgotten it. For I know how they think even now, before I have brought them into the land about which I swore. So Moshe wrote this song that same day and taught it to the people of Israel. Adonai also commissioned Yahashua the son of Nun with these words, Be strong and full of courage, for you are to bring the people of Israel into the land about which I swore to them, and I will be with you. Moshe kept writing the words of this Torah in the book until he was done. When he had finished, Moshe gave these orders to the Levim, who carried the ark with the covenant of Adonai, take this book of the Torah and put it next to the ark with the covenant of Adonai your God, so that it can be there to witness against you. For I know how rebellious and stiff-necked you are. Here, even when I am still alive with you today, you have rebelled against Adonai. So how much more will you do so after my death? Assemble for me all the leaders of your tribes and your officials, so that I can say these things in their hearing, calling heaven and earth to witness against them. Because I know that after my death you will become very corrupt and turn aside from the way that I have ordered you, and that disaster will come upon you in the Acharit Hayamim, because you will do what Adonai sees as evil and provoke him by your deeds. Then Moshe spoke in the hearing of the whole assembly of Israel the words of this song, from beginning to end. And the Bible that I'm reading from today is the complete Jewish Bible, the CJB, that I use the most. So we're gonna be reading chapter 61, verse 10, through chapter 63, verse nine. I am so joyful in Adonai, my soul rejoices in my God, for he has clothed me in salvation, dressed me with a robe of triumph, like a bridegroom wearing a festive turban, like a bride adorned with her jewels. For just as the earth brings forth its plants, or a garden makes its plants spring up, so Adonai, God, will cause victory and glory to spring up before all nations. For Zion's sake I will not be silent. For Jerusalem's sake I will not rest until her vindication shines out brightly and her salvation like a blazing torch. The nations will see your vindication and all kings your glory. 
Then you will be called by a new name, which Adonai himself will pronounce. You will be a glorious crown in the hand of Adonai, a royal diadem held by your God. You will no longer be spoken of as Azuvah, abandoned, or your land be spoken of as Shimama, desolate. Rather, you will be called Hepzivah, my delight is in her, and your land, Beulah, married. For Adonai delights in you, and your land will be married as a young man marries a young woman. Your sons will marry you as a bridegroom rejoices over the bride. Your God will rejoice over you. I have posted watchmen on your walls, Jerusalem. They will never fall silent, neither by day nor by night. You who call on Adonai, give yourselves no rest and give him no rest till he restores Jerusalem and makes it a praise on earth. Adonai has sworn by his right hand and by his mighty arm, Never again will I give your grain to your enemies as food, nor will strangers drink your wine, for which you worked so hard. But those who harvest the grain will eat it with praises to Adonai. Those who gathered the wine will drink it in the courtyards of my sanctuary. Go on through, go on through the gates, clear the way for the people. Build up a highway, build it up, clear away the stones, raise a banner for the peoples. Adonai has claimed to the end of the earth. Say to the daughter of Zion, Here your salvation is coming. Here his reward is with him, and his recompense is before him. They will call them the holy people, the redeemed of Adonai. You will be called Darusha, sought after. Irlo Niziva, city no longer abandoned. Who is this coming from Edom? from Batzerah, with clothing stained crimson, so magnificently dressed, so stately in his great strength. It is I who speaks victoriously, I well able to save. Why is your apparel red, your clothes like someone treading a winepress? I have trodden the winepress alone from the peoples. Not one was with me, so I trod them in my anger, trampled them in my fury. So their lifeblood spurted out on my clothing, and I have stained all my garments. For the day of vengeance that was in my heart and my year of redemption has, have come. I looked, but there was no one to help, and I was appalled that no one upheld me. Therefore my own arm brought me salvation, and my own fury upheld me. And in, in my anger I trod down the peoples, made them drunk with my fury, then poured out their lifeblood on the earth. I will recall the grace of Adonai and the praises of Adonai because of all that Adonai has granted us and his great goodness toward the house of Israel, which he bestowed on them in keeping with his mercy, in keeping with the greatness of his grace. For he said, they are indeed my people, children who are not disloyal. So he became their savior. In all their troubles, he was troubled. Then the angel of his presence saved them. In his love and pity he redeemed them. He had lifted them up and carried them throughout the days of old. And finally we are going to read in Luke chapter 4 verses 14 to 21. Yeshua returned to the Galil in the power of the Spirit and reports about him spread throughout the countryside. He taught in their synagogues and everyone respected him. Now when he went to Nazareth, where he had been brought up, on Shabbat he went to the synagogue as usual. He stood up to read and he was given the scroll of the prophet Yeshayahu, Isaiah. Unrolling the scroll, he found the place where it was written, The spirit of Adonai is upon me, because he has anointed me to announce good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim freedom for the imprisoned and renewed sight for the blind, to release those who have been crushed, to proclaim a year of the favor of Adonai. After closing the scroll and returning it to the Shamash, he sat down and the eyes of everyone in the synagogue were fixed on him. He started to speak to them, today as you heard it read, this passage of the Tanakh was fulfilled. All right, that is it for this week's Saturday scripture reading. And I will just close this in prayer. Thank you, Abba, Father, for your many blessings. We thank you for your Torah, for your word. We ask that you plant it deep into our hearts and give us understanding 
so that as we read your word, we hear from your spirit speaking understanding into our minds and into our hearts, Father. I thank you for bringing me here to Alabama safely. I pray you give safe travels to everyone who is traveling this weekend, who is on the road coming to this event. And I pray for your blessings for those who are not, for those who are at home, who are spending the days with their family. I pray for those who are seeking you, that you give them a light to shine and, and just lead them straight to you, Father. Enlighten their path and direct their steps to you. I pray for our nation. I pray that in these times that we're living in, you draw us closer to you, Father. Help us keep our eyes where they're supposed to be and not on the cares of this world because the cares are growing, <laughs> the troubles are multiplying, but help us keep our eyes fixed on you where our trust is supposed to be. In the name of Yeshua, Jesus, amen. Shabbat Shalom.